Before all of this, we were normal ass kids doing normal ass things. This is my post-apocalyptic cooking show. Sometimes life takes you in a different direction and you gotta go. In just six minutes and 20 seconds, 17 hearts stopped beating. 18-year-old senior Sam Fuentes was shot in both legs. I was thinking about how were we gonna get out? If he was gonna come back, was I going to die? And I saw Emma on TV and I remember just like looking up to her and thinking, wow, I can do that. From South Florida to the south side of Chicago, these two groups are vowing to work together on the gun issue. That's all we ever wanted in the first place was to be listened to. It's always the same shit. So what if we got to change it this time? How many of you lost someone in this? Cameron went off script. Can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA? And then shit went down. A nationwide walkout inspired by Parkland, Florida. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to actually make it happen. I think we're seeing a real movement here, not just a moment. There are 800 events on every continent except Antarctica today. It's my obligation to tell people what the young population care about. Welcome to the revolution. Young voters showed up at the polls at historic rate. We f***ing won, but it still doesn't feel like enough. I am here today to acknowledge and represent the African-American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. This is what Come involved today by voting for policies that won't get you killed tomorrow. They're gonna shoot through the window. If they kill me, they prove my point. You guys are being huge. The thing is, people like that. I'm excited because I have not seen a movement like this since 1963 when 3,000 students led that movement. Change is on the horizon. You know that there is a new and unsettling force for change in this country. You know I mean, we have years and years more than these people are going to live. And right now, the future looks like it's there. It's in front of us. And it's up to us to do whatever we want with it.